Okay, it's working. All right, guys, I got something different to show you this time. It's not going to be one of my guitar videos or anything. Um, I wanted to share something that I've been experimenting with. I've been juicing a lot lately, and uh, I'm actually two days into a three-day juice fast that I'm trying to do, or a raw fast that I'm trying to do. Um, so I'm going to share with you one of my recipes that I do in the morning, which includes watermelon, apple, and celery. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I cut it in a way that we're actually going to juice the peel afterwards. So um, I'm going to show you how we do that. But I thought I would just make a video showing how I'm doing these juices. I made one this morning, a whole bunch of like beet juice. I think I made like, let's see, 32. Uh, I think I made like a 42 ounce juice this morning and then I saved like 12, 16 ounces of it. So that's in there. Just like beet juice, apple, uh, ginger, celery, and a lemon. Okay, so when I'm cutting this, I'm just trying to get all the green parts out. It's all right if they're still white. As you can see, I still got a little bit of white on there, so I don't, I'm not going to really care about that. But don't throw these away. This is what you're going to want to juice afterwards. It's going to be a, kind of like a green... Um, brown <laughs> depending on how you what you know what's left in your juicer after you're done or when you start this but it's usually like a really dark green color um i'm gonna say it's not gonna taste the best but it's gonna have a lot of nutrients in it because a lot of the vitamins and nutrients that we want from this watermelon are actually in the peel so let me go ahead and show you how i do that <laughs> that one's kind of yeah See, it's, 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 don't, uh, you know, take your time doing it. You don't have to be in a hurry. I'm just kind of showing you a few examples here, so. Let's go ahead and, when they're in the wheel, it's kind of a little easier because you can kind of, like, look at it and just, like, shh. Kind of an easy way, too. This is just because it was the end. Uh, when they're cut like this in the slices, you can just put on the cutting sheet and just kind of, like, you know. Cut away the excess on the edges there. Okay, so there we go. I'm not going to bore you with cutting anymore, but just so you get an example. I'm just going to cut them in a few slices here, and then I'm going to show you the juicer work. I think you can kind of, yeah, you can see the juicer right there. All right. All right. So we'll, we'll plug it in. All right. So here we go. making carrots this morning so it might come out kind of weird at first so, but it'll, it'll turn all like super pink really soon yes and i'm not following any kind of like recipe or anything i just um you know, watermelon, and I think celery would be really good with it. That's just something I just thought of, because they're both really watery fruits, you know. Um, you can put whatever the hell you want, though. I, I, if I had a lemon, I would be putting a lemon in it, but I don't have lemon. And um, I was going to put ginger, but uh, I don't know. I've been having a lot of ginger lately, so I'm not really in the mood for it. But, yeah, it's just crushing the watermelon. Like, you see nothing even coming out of this part, you know, the whole part. So that's good. All right. And as you notice, I still have half of the watermelon right here. These are little small ones. They were probably like like that big. I have a bigger one over there that I'm going to juice. Probably going to be about like four or five juices. So that's going to be pretty good. Let me go ahead and just cut another one of these really quick here. Just so we can have 32 ounces of juice. And I can show you what that looks like in a 32 ounce mason jar. So right now, this is going to just be pure watermelon juice. Um, I'm actually making... Um, hold on, sorry. I'm actually going to make 64 ounces, so I'm going to put half in here, half in here, because it's for me and my brother, so I'll put that right there, and you can kind of, wait, there you go, you want to block it, yeah. So you can see the juice is still dripping, 
from the bottom there. I usually just kind of give it a few seconds because I don't want to waste any drops. But um, the juicer I'm using right now is a Green Star Elite. Um, you can do this in any kind of conventional, I don't know what other juicers they've had. I, I've only had this one. I've never messed with anything else. Um, but I've heard stories of people refeeding the pulp back into the juicer. And I've never had a problem with this because it's, it's magnets, it's crushing it. Um, so I've never had any issues with that. But um, I know people can get ones for like, I don't know, like 60, 70 bucks online or something. Something cheap to start off with, you know? So we'll go ahead and just speed it up there and I'll pour this in. I'll give you a shot. And I'm actually just gonna fill this because I wanna drink it right now. Damn. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, sorry. Nice and pink. It's kind of trippy. Only. Yeah, it's fucking watermelon juice. <laughs> um, yeah, that's really good. So I'll go ahead and pour. Oh no, I got another watermelon right there. So um, just imagine that I just put half a watermelon in. We'll start so you can kind of know the recipe. I did half a watermelon and kind of just throw a few celery sticks in there. The apple, you don't really have to. This is just something I do. I just blend all these up together. And then I put them in these two 32-ounce mason jars. I think it's 32 ounces. It says one point. No, that's one point right there. Um, I think they're 32. I'm pretty sure they're 32. They're the, they're the big ones. Um, so I just mix all that up and distribute it between the two cups here and then that's usually it um, you can squeeze a lemon at the end or a lime but I just thought I would share it because I make these juices all the time people are like oh I want to see you use your juicer so uh, I thought I would just kind of make a video and show you guys but yeah I'm gonna start doing more videos like this uh, probably not as you know on the fly as how I'm doing right now because this is just on an iPad or a Samsung pad um, but I want to make, make like a whole little kind of setup right here by my window. Let me, how do I move the camera? I want to do something like here by my window and kind of set up the juicer here. And this is where I keep all my fruit so it can keep right ripening and everything like my avocados. This is the big watermelon that I was talking about. I'm still wanting it to get some sun. So yeah, I want to do something with this, probably scoot this out and kind of clear this area so I can make juicing videos and kind of show you in better light how I'm doing it. So thank you.